Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. When young actors become famous early on in life, some decide to stick with show business and go on to even bigger success. Others quit Hollywood for good. Today, we're going to look at the most famous Hollywood child stars and where they are now. If you want to know what happened to America's most favorite troubled teen, watch out for number one, Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Remember these twin boys from Disney Channel's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? They actually started their acting careers pretty young. Drew, we need to talk to you. What? T take it away, Zack. In fact, you can also spot Cole as Ross Geller's son, Ben, in the hit 90s sitcom, Friends. The twins are still pretty well known to this day. While Cole is now starring as Jughead Jones in the CW's Riverdale, Dylan has made a name for himself as the co-founder of a New York meadery and is soon starring in an upcoming film called After We Collided. Both haven't lost their charm as they're still pretty big in Hollywood. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Haley Joel Osment. When 11-year-old actor Haley Joel Osment delivered the message, I see dead people to Bruce Willis on screen, the combination of innocence and horror shook the audience. I see dead people. The movie, The Sixth Sense, made Osment a breakout star. It saw him getting nominated for an Academy Award and flying around the world doing press for the blockbuster movie. With his astonishing talent and baleful eyes, Osment looked set for superstardom, with Steven Spielberg and even Tom Cruise coming calling. There were a couple of other big screen roles, and then nothing. Osment largely disappeared from public view. Whether on purpose or because the roles started to dry up, Osment largely turned his back on Hollywood, focusing on high school, where he eventually took part in school plays. Haley hit the headlines in 2006 when he crashed his car, broke his rib, and faced misdemeanor charges of driving under the influence. Since then, he's played various roles in shows and movies, including Silicon Valley, Entourage, and has voiced animated characters as well. But he still isn't as big as he was supposed to be. Osment just didn't like the industry much. He even grew a beard to hide from the public. Morrow Wilson. You might remember Mara Wilson as your favorite child telekinetic in the 1996 family movie, Matilda. It's hard to believe it's been well over 20 years since the charming little girl first captured our hearts. Stay with Miss Honey. Well, Miss Honey doesn't want you. Why would she want some snotty, disobedient kid? Though Mara retired from acting in 2000 to focus on her writing, the actress returned to the screen in 2012, starring in the comedy drama film Billy Bob Joe and in a Mrs. Doubtfire-inspired episode of Broad City. She has also published a book titled Where Am I Now? True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame. It shows that there is a life for kids outside of Hollywood, too. Juliana Rose Moriello. This kid fell off the face of the earth so badly that people thought she actually died. Juliana Rose Mariello is best known for her role as Stephanie in the television series Lazy Town. Her last episode was in 2016, and fans haven't seen her on the screen since. Tabloids have shared a few wild stories about Juliana being arrested for prostitution. Some other stories indicated that she had ended her life with a drug overdose, but these rumors are simply not true. Juliana Rose Mariello is alive and well. She attended Columbia University and successfully got her master's degree in occupational therapy. Although she's not currently working on any television or film productions, Moriello has not forsaken her loyal fan base. She maintains a Facebook social media account and regularly posts photographs along with updates on what's going on in her life. Juliana began her acting career at a young age, and most of her work revolved around Lazytown. She went on to appear in numerous other stage productions and 
also appeared in commercials for AstraZeneca, Disney Entertainment, Volvo, Wendy's, and others. But her acting days are behind her now, and she practices therapy now. But we're just glad to know that she's doing well. Jaden Smith From his massive debut in the hit movie Pursuit of Happiness, where he shared the scene with his father, until being the protagonist in Karate Kid, Jaden Smith always maintained an image of a child that was very favorable to his career. However, after a time, he chose to pursue a different life. All of this would be that Jaden has sought to rid himself entirely of his father and make his own way. So, he decided to try his luck in music and released his album Eris. But to make his performances more distinctive, the singer has been making several changes in his appearance. On one occasion, he shaved off his braids, decorated his eyebrows, and wore pink braces that matched his pink bald head. This look got him a lot of hate from the media and fans. But hey, every kid is allowed to choose their own path, even if he's Will Smith's son. Especially if he's Will Smith's son. Justin Bieber Justin Bieber was just a kid from a small town in Canada when he was discovered by Scooter Braun, who convinced Justin's mom to let the 12-year-old fly to Atlanta, and a week later, he was singing for Usher. He was the youngest child celebrity selling out huge arena concerts. He became the biggest music sensation in the world at just the age of 13. But like everyone else, Bieber lost control of his teens and was charged with speeding at 100 miles per hour. His image deteriorated when he was caught spitting on his neighbor and urinating in public. Justin's spending was huge too, and at a time, even though he was the best singer in the world, he was totally broke. Everyone started hating Bieber, but in 2017, he started getting his life back on track and made some amazing songs to get back the crown he once wore. The Fanning Sisters as one of the most critically acclaimed child stars in the history of filmmaking, Dakota Fanning spent the majority of her young life dominating the big screen, scooping up awards, and earning praise. The actress was only six when her career kicked off, and she was launched into the spotlight through films like I Am Sam, Uptown Girls, and Charlotte's Web. But now, the little adorable actress is all grown up and isn't that big of a celebrity, it seems. And believe us, she's totally fine with it. Miss Fanning has been focusing on her schooling and is currently working on studies surrounding females in film at New York University's Gallatin School of Individualized Study. While Dakota has been out of the picture, her sister, Ellie Fanning, has stepped up the game. Ellie has starred in films such as Maleficent, Super 8, and We Bought a Zoo. More power to both of these amazing sisters. Russell Horning. The internet has shot people to moments of temporary fame, and Russell Horning, also known as Backpack Kid, is one of them. He first appeared during Katy Perry's song Swish Swish while doing the floss, a dance that involves rapidly swinging your arms to the front and back of your body. We have to say, the performance was pretty good, and it was the reason Russell became an internet sensation overnight. Russell Horning knew that his dancing shoes could only get him so far, which is why he wisely rebranded himself as an aspiring rapper. But even after dropping his album on his own birthday, that didn't work out for him, and he has been mostly forgotten by the industry. The worst part is, he's not even a fan of the person who made him famous, Katy Perry. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it on a future video. Macaulay Culkin There's a chance you might not know him by this name, but definitely remember him from his movies. Home Alone was by far the highest grossing film of the year and his performances as Kevin McAllister earned Culkin both a Golden Globe nomination and a Young Artist Award, shooting him into immediate stardom. He later went on to make the famous family movie Richie Rich, and then just dipped. Culkin stopped acting altogether, opting out of the insane world of child stardom in order to try and live a somewhat normal life. When he came back to the industry, he didn't get the recognition and never really earned the success he once had. 
Hollywood is a harsh industry, and not everyone survives. Lindsay Lohan There was a time when Lindsay Lohan was considered one of the most promising actresses of her generation. Everybody used to love Lindsay Lohan. Back in the day when she was starring in Parent Trap and even in Mean Girls. The New York Times reports that at one point, she was even America's favorite troubled teen. Lindsay Lohan was in the spotlight from age three, and her portfolio of 60 television spots and 100 print ads helped land her the dual role of twin sisters in Disney's 1998 remake of The Parent Trap. The role that everybody knows and loves. As her celebrity status grew, Lindsay Lohan started spending more time at New York nightclubs. In 2007, she was arrested twice, and both times was found to be in possession of small amounts of cocaine. After that, her career went downhill for a whole decade. Lindsay has since gotten better and is trying to flip her life around, but the industry feels her glory days are behind her. What do you think? Which one of these was your favorite Hollywood kid celebrity? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.